In today's video, we're going to be making a cast iron grill pan steak. Now what I have here, I have my Lodge uh, 10 inch grill pan, and which has the grill uh, ridges here. So what we're going to do, we're going to grill a steak, and I've had this steak marinating. Now uh, what I used on this was Heinz Worcestershire sauce. Now, Heinz Worcestershire sauce makes a good sauce for a steak, but it also makes a good marinade. And so I've been marinating this steak. You can do it as little as 30 minutes, or you can do it as little uh, or as, as long as uh, overnight if you wanted to. And, uh, but I've done mine overnight, so it's definitely marinated real good. And uh, so we're gonna get this going. Now, what I'm gonna do on this steak, I'm gonna let this set for three minutes and then I'm going to turn it and let it cook for another three minutes so I'll get the grill marks on it. Now one good thing about a grill pan, you know, whether you're cooking outside, you may not be able to cook outside on a grill, but you can still have a good steak with grill marks on it using a grill pan like this. Now one thing about a grill pan, cast iron grill pan, this is one of the only times that I ever heat a, a cast iron skillet up over medium heat. Now this one's on medium high, almost high heat. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I can get the grill marks on my ribeye steak. Timers went off, it's been three minutes, so I'm gonna grab this steak if I can here. And I'm just gonna spin it to get my grill marks on it this way. And I'll set my timer for another three minutes. And uh, we'll let that cook. You look at those grill marks that you get from a large cast iron grill pan. Now, another thing that I want to talk to you a little bit about is an instant read thermometer. I have a Thermal Pro instant read, Thermal Pro TP19H actually, and I love this little uh, instant read thermometer, and anybody that cooks really ought to have one. What I like about this, as soon as you open it up, it uh, automatically comes on, and uh, you can just test your meat. We're showing right here it's got a backlight on it. Uh, it's real fast, it's accurate. This is showing 89 degrees. And I wanna get up to about 115, 120 on this steak. But anyway, this thing, uh, once you flip it over, the actual display will uh, rotate like it should. It has a lock on it and a light. You can click the light on where you can see what your temperature is. It's also waterproof. Now I don't suggest you throw it in a uh, sink full of water or whatever just to test it but it is waterproof and uh, you know it's uh, it's pretty cool for anyone that loves to cook you need to have a way of testing your meat there's actually two or three ways and we've been doing this on our uh, uh, steak today we've been testing it by the timer on a clock uh, by the minutes you can do it that way or you can do it with an insta read thermometer to check uh, to check your temperature and so we Really enjoy this Thermal Pro. I've been using this. This is probably the second one that I've owned. And uh, this is a newer version and we, we really enjoy this. Now, one other thing or a couple other things I want to mention too about this uh, instant read thermometer. It actually has a recommended uh, temperature gauge back here for beef, pork, and chicken. And it's also magnetic. So you can actually take and uh, place this, you know, on your refrigerator or wherever you want to put Okay, well, our timer just went off, so I'm going to check this with the InstaRead thermometer. We're showing 137, so that's definitely higher than I want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this steak. But look at those grill marks on that, folks. Now, that's how you get grill marks on a steak in a cast iron grill pan. So what we're going to do now, I let these cook on both sides for about four to five minutes. So that makes it anywhere from eight to 10 minutes. What we want to do now is let this thing rest for half of that amount. So I'm going to let this thing rest for five minutes. Okay, well, we've let this thing rest for five minutes. So let's cut into it and see what this steak looks like. Look at that, still got a little pink to it. So this is more of a medium, which uh, I, I tend to like, Teresa likes. And so, man, just look how easy that cuts. It's so tender. That is awesome right there. Okay, we're gonna taste this too and see what it looks like because it looks so good. I mean, it's just so tender, it cuts like butter. 
Mm -hmm. You know, marinating it in Worcestershire sauce, you don't even have to add any salt and pepper or anything to it. It has a great flavor to it. You don't have to add any sauce to it. It's already seasoned. And that's how you make a cast iron grill pan steak right there with grill marks on it, folks. We appreciate you guys. Hey, check this video out because it was made specifically for you. And we'll see you guys over there later on. Y'all have a great day now. It's Mike and Mrs. Cast Iron. We'll see you. Bye-bye.